Hi everyone, it's Michelle at Divine Purpose. Good morning, happy Monday. Um, today is July 27th, 2020. <clears throat> um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, what's poppin'? Today is officially the new galactic year, welcoming the sacred twins. We're still in Leo season, and there's a lot of energy out here of really putting on your lion or lioness hat main <laughs> and really understanding it's time to show the world the real you i was starting to shuffle these came out show the world the new you the full moon in aquarius and we're in the new moon um, excuse me the galactic year which is really about you know understanding what is occurring in the higher dimensions and the new moon in leo see um confidence is key to success and then i was pulling out the oceanic tarot um, to go into the energies and the four of wands came out and the four of wands my loves you know we are in the year 2020 and 2020 is two plus two and there's two here two here people say 11 11 um, whatever wanted you want to say it but this is about foundations and foundational changes four is also the Emperor's energy so this is also understanding why you're here now I'm gonna do this reading as a collective. I'm not gonna just focus on Divine Masculine today as I woke up feeling so weird today. I don't know how you guys are doing. Um, but even like I'm drinking coffee because it's the morning and even my coffee doesn't even taste good. But I'm still gonna drink it because I'm grateful. So if you're feeling a really weird shift, that's probably what it is. Um, so I'm gonna ask, <coughs> excuse me, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron to come in to assist me for this reading and I'm going to pull some energies for y'all today um, and I really have a big message that I received yesterday and I will share it at Divine's Purpose on Instagram so if you're not following me on there yet please do all the links are below okay so let's get started let's see what we have going on today so the first energy that wants to come out is the Queen of Pentacles. It says kindness on here, but the Queen of Pentacles is very full of abundance. The Pentacle really represents the abundance and prosperity you have within. Um, you know, when you're rising up into your ascension and your true divinity, you have to understand there's two different perceptions we're looking at, right? You have the physical eyes and then the spiritual eyes. But when you rise up, you look at everything with your spiritual eyes. Okay, I guess this is going to be a little bit of a deeper reading in regards to um, expl explanation of the energies, which is okay with me, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up with that. So, But the pentacle can really represent the material world. And today I posted that today we have officially sunk the ego. So I feel like there's a lot coming through with understanding what this really represents to you in your life and how this represents to you in your life. Look at this. We have the empress. The empress of all the queens in the tarot. She sits on her throne full of abundance. Remember I just said prosperity here, right? And abundance. The, she knows she's 5D. She knows she's higher. She knows she's done the work. She knows she who she is under the name of God. Um, I always say, you know, you can call yourself a divine feminine, divine masculine, but if you don't live it, be it, breathe it, understand what that means in your inner world first. And also, um, the mirrored image of the outer world that you're not really a divine feminine the empress is the divine feminine she is the archetype archetype of the feminine energy and it came out with healing um, the angel of the ocean which is the temperance card the two cups the holy grail um, I'm telling you right now feminine energy through the collective is really being healed especially with the full moon in Aquarius show the world the, the the real you there's a feminine energy there watering the planet right it's like we have shown up and we are pouring our love onto the world and this is not only for divine feminines my loves this is also for divine masculine so if you are divine masculine watching as well you have to understand you also have the feminine energy within you and you know until you really opened up that feminine energy and started healing the divine feminine energy within you you were stuck in the lower ego program right very toxic, very distorted, wounded. But I feel like as a collective, this is the collective read, even though we're talking about, you know, courage versus the cowardice of, you know, what we did in the past or how we saw ourselves in the past. I always use the, the word coward as a self-reflection. Um, 
because everything is self anyways, but we're rising up into really coming into the divine feminine energy, which makes total sense to me because I've been telling you 2020 is the, the year of the divine feminine, which is the rise of the divine masculine. So I'm gonna get three more here to clarify the energy and I'll dive into another deck. Um, let's see for this queen of pentacles. Wow, guys, we have judgment and I just said self-reflection. Spirit is just on it today. Okay, I guess I feel weird for a reason. Um, 10, 10, which is a 20, God's plan, but this is about the judgment call, you know, blowing the horn. You guys have to understand something, you know, when you have been a chosen one, especially if you're on the twin flame path, which was the card that we saw um, in the beginning, you know, we have free will until we don't, until we ascend, until we awaken, because we actually do have a blueprint. We all have a blueprint. We all have to lead by example through the motion of what we're here for. That's destiny, faith, prophecy, big thing, big word right there, y'all. I hope you're following. But yeah, we're really being called right now in regards to the self-reflection of who we really are. And a lot of us have to go through that through our emotions. But we're being led right now to call. Wow, I can't believe the two cards that just came out. Okay, pause. Um, <clears throat> we're being led right now to really put forward who we really are in the public because this is why we're supposed to be here. <clears throat> to lead and use our voice. And that's why I'm having major throat chakra activations. Um, and, you know, what really is key to this being successful is confidence. And that's why we're in Leo season. And this is coming up for the Lionsgate, the 8-8 eight, eight portal. If you guys know me with the 8-8s, eight, it's really understanding the karma clearing that we have done. Um, you know, and if you haven't yet, this is the energy of your future. I'm just letting you know. It doesn't mean you have to resonate with this exactly. Some of you can still be healing and dealing with shadow work and going through the dark night. Um, just continue going forward with that because the thing is the future is looking bright for you if you are. And the two cards that flipped out side by side, no lie, is the two of cups with the chariot movement forward. Um, so what I'm picking up here is that, oh, my bad, y'all, you can't even see the top of the cards. I came to a new, I, I'm sitting on the floor today because told you the energy is a little weird um all right i hope this is good yes all right perfect so you're being led through god and spirit to really understand this equal partnership guys the two of cups is the the divine counterparts it's the two cups it's both of the divine feminines and masculine whoever you resonate with holding the holy grail uh, and you have to understand that the temperance card is the angel of the divine counterparts and she also holds the two cups in her hands and this is the eight. This is the infinity symbol, y'all. I hope you are getting what spirit is picking up here. And I hope I'm uh, properly explaining it. <clears throat> and what I'm picking up here is that you're being led right now through the motion of spirit. Also, Archangel Michael and Arch Archangel Menachon is leading the divine counterparts, the sacred twins, to a motion of healing so they can step into what they're here for, the two of cups. Now, the chariot number seven we're in july cancer season cancer is really about emotions right and please be understand before the leo season was the cancer season i feel like these emotions were surfacing even before to really understand the healing that one must do to really claim this cup this is understanding the polarity of the dark and the light coming into it the man usually is holding his heart going straight for it through the motion of divine divine is leading this chariot forward into their destiny really beautiful really beautiful i have to tell you if you resonate with this already um, press like and um, i just want to say congratulations because i know a lot of work self-work has been done to get at this point as a collective guys as a collective And Mondays, I usually like to really focus on um, purpose. And this is screaming out purpose. Like your purpose is to be yourself, to show the world the real you, because that's really where your happiness is. Um, and I'm also picking up, you know, confidence is key because you've been working on yourself. You've been working on your shadows. You've been working on your doubts. You've been working on your fears. And most of all, I feel like you've been working on your spiritual um, connection with God. 
There's a lot of spiritual people out here who claim to be spiritual, but they always say, you know, or they don't say actually anything about God. <coughs> Guys, I'm having a big throat chakra. Give me a second. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let me clear my throat. No, 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 no. I need some white glass. I need some white glass. If I'm going to make sounds like that, play some chores. All right. So I'm getting that because I'm speaking truth here in regards to the false prophets that will, will be revealing. And it's nothing negative. It's just understanding, you know, the things are revealed to you so you can get a clearer path on your own journey. Just to get another confirmation on your journey. You know, this is nothing to do but judgment. We don't judge around here. But we also have to understand that, you know, people are leading other people through the motion of fame or money or, you know, spirituality that has nothing to really do with honestly being their truth. Show the world the real you. And that's what I said to you. Like, you know, things are going to be revealed. So pay attention at this current moment of time. I'm going to jump into the Keepers of the Light to really get some more clarifiers of what's going in in this energy. And then White Eagle and Sister Spirit connect to your lineage. A family wound and pattern can be healed now. Guys, when I was saying to you that congratulations, you have done the work. You have to understand, as a twin flame who is a healer here, everything is meant to be healed. This is about healing not only yourself, but your ancestry, your bloodline. I always say the ancestors are always with me. I wouldn't even call them in because they're within me just as God is. Um, I call in the archangels to help provide clearer messages for me to articulate because sometimes I can go off on a tangent. Um, but what I'm picking up here is like, you know, co co connect to your, your, your lineage. It's time that we connect with one another, you know, even if we're on different side of the world, even if we appear to have different tones in our skin, we are being led right now to connect to our soul tribe and not everybody is our soul tribe. You have to really distinguish where you have been, where your soul has been, which is the past life regression and opening up the Akashic records. And you know, some people get services done. Some people just look within and they're already told, especially if you're a twin, you're already working with the elements. So you already have those gifts if you've already claimed it. Um, but this is understanding that <clears throat> it's time to tap in even more with the soul span because we're really healing as a collective, not only ourselves, but the family and uh, all these energies that no longer serve. Wow, y'all, look at this. We have the Empress with the Two of Cups and guess who wants to come out? Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Mary Magdalene has been leading this energy for a while now, especially for Divine Feminines, as you understand who she is in regards to the prophecy. Um, and this goes into the message I'll be sharing later today. But, you know, you have to understand, my love, this has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with the Divine Feminine and the Divine Feminine archetype. And also understand, we were talking about the Holy Grail here, the Holy Grail. Um, the Holy Grail, do you understand what that represents? Because if you don't, I would suggest you look it up. And it's not a religious thing. It's understanding the cup of God and the cup of love and also the gifts that came through the motion of this cup. You know, Mary Magdalene is the partner, the divine partner of Jesus, who actually went through all that suffering. Listen to what I'm saying to you, because this is the healing that I was referring to. All the suffering, all the pain, all of the sacrifice to release to God <clears throat> and trust that something was occurring that reached the element of Christ consciousness. And now Christ consciousness is again not the depiction of Jesus as a prophet or Mary Magdalene. Christ consciousness is the element of uh, their spirituality of what they became and how they become it through the motion of unconditional love and forgiveness you know that is the whole point of the twin flame journey so to those of you who understand this and to those of you who understand finding your soul tribe i would suggest you look very deeply within yourself to see if you have a connection to this christ consciousness the hundred and forty four thousand that a lot of people have been claiming but really have not been a part of you have to really 
keep this sacred and dig a little deeper because Mary Magdalene did have Jesus's babies. And you know, there is a big bloodline there that continues. This is about the prophecy. You are watching this because you are a part of the prophecy. This is what's coming in. It's a very big message and um, it's really beautiful. So last message. Lord Ganesh, infinity abundance, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. You know, we're getting a lot of confirmations about abundance and prosperity. This is really beautiful because again, you know, to really have the Queen of Pentacles starting out the reading, it's understanding that the prop the, the abundance and prosperity you actually do have is through within you. And I just want to show you that Bridget is underneath this deck. Um, move back to wholeness, recognize you have the power because it's about inner strength and healing. And, you know, we're talking about that lion energy. Um, and this is also very strong in regards to why we're actually here. So again, my loves, you know, if you ever did do anything in the past, we have to really let that go. And I talked about that on Saturday because that was the energy of letting go of the past and really stepping into the lion energy of being the courageous lion. Okay. Um, really beautiful. I'm going to finish off with the um, energy oracle cards and I'll close out the reading. How long have I been going for? Okay, 60 minutes. So I want to get some of this energy in the physicality. How are we claiming this? What is coming through? You know, showing the world the real you. Are you still hiding in that spiritual closet? Are you ready to come out? What is blocking you? Um, have you acted in a cowardly way and how have you projected that? to the world because you know your confidence is what's going to bring you success here and this is about self-work and self-reflection um, i'm going to take it three came out at the same time so um, to those of you who are still working and still working with these elements of fear and shadows and all of that you guys are doing really good just continue going this is not somewhere we're judging this is just straight facts and we have to understand that you know to really be successful it's really about self-love and really claiming your divinity and also you know guys we are twin flames we're supposed to be these prophets that are supposed to lead the way through the most of, excuse me people like to slam the door here um the motion of not only just leading by example but actually showcasing it to the world you know this is just the beginning this is just the beginning so start getting prepped for what you are being led to because mission work is coming. So look at this. We have the world, the um, yin and yang. It's not the world, sorry, it's the yin and yang, but it looks like the world, right? This is the twin flames. Here's another confirmation. Number 22 is union, but you have to have union with self first. And that's what I'm trying to say here. You know, that's what healing is truly about. That eight, the infinity symbol, the two cups, the as above, so below, the masculine, the feminine within. You have to understand, my loves, this is us. This is the twin flame, you know? But one carries more of the feminine energy and one carries more of the masculine energy. And we were split into two different physical beings to really come back together to heal everything we just talked about. This is union, number 22. And again, we're in 2020, guys, number four. Twos, 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 2020. I hope you're following. Then we have number 17, which equals an eighth, and this is the action four through the motion of the two horses. Here it is, right where the chariot is. And they're running fast, and the white horse is leading the way, as it always does, because the light will always lead the shadow. It's just how it is with any aspect of life through the duality, because we understand that there will always be light and shadow, always, which is beautiful, because if you heal the shadow, this is actually going to be the most beautiful aspect of claiming who you really are um, and this is understanding also, also this is the karmic cycles that are coming and then the last card which is so beautiful my loves and again the eight right four eight and then another four and this is who it is six chakra the third eye archangel metatron and air commanded archangel metatron is here and i did ask him to come and i love that he finished off this reading today with the third eye because i said to you there's two different perceptions there's a physical eye and there's a spiritual eye and the spiritual eye my love is your third eye um, this is your sixth chakra you're rising up 
Um, obviously, we're seeing things in a very different way. We're seeing energies. We're seeing lights all around us. We're seeing the angels around us. You know, a lot of people right now don't see what we see. This is why we're here. Four and four is an eight. 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 Lion's Gate. Guys, there's a lot of messages through numbers. Pay attention. Some of you are understanding what I'm saying. Some of you are like, oh my God, this is happening. And some of you are like, wait, let me get my pen and my journal and let me learn. I pray that's what you do. Um, and wherever you are on your journey, you have to remember there's different levels, but you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Someone like myself who is leading the white horse and understanding all the healing aspects of this journey and also getting a lot of downloads to help with this aspect of where we're going i get this it's so clear it's so clear and not only that it's actually very magical i hope you understand how magical this is especially when we're dealing with you know souls that have been you know in the holy land through the holy bloodline your soul has been connected to gods and goddesses you know your soul has been connected to lemuria and atlantis and so forth and so forth I hope you are following how special your soul actually is and why your physical body has been rejecting it for so long. The physical ego is because you carry a lot of power through the motion of the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. I would suggest you look it up. Now, if you like movies, um, Indiana Jones has a movie about the Holy Grail. I believe Angels and Demons or the Da Vinci Code. Look that up. Um, sometimes, you know, you can get your messages and understand things like that through the motion of films. The Mummy Returns. Watch that. Because a lot of us are getting really big past life activations and it's happening. Like even me today waking up feeling so freaking weird that my coffee tastes bad. Never tastes bad. Um, just... Follow where you're led, guys, but this is really about it's time to come forward and really show the world the real you. So if you're still healing and if you're still hiding because you're still scared of people's judgment of you, please contact me because I want to do healing sessions that will help you come forward. And trust me, if you book a session with me, I'm telling you right now, um, your whole life is going to change because this is what happens when you're meant to contact me and meant to um book with me uh, because it's very powerful and I'm not saying that in a cocky way I'm just saying that as someone who has been working with a lot of beautiful souls and their life has changed within six weeks and it's nothing about me it's about our spirit guides and God so um, yeah it, and, and the reason why I say it like that because there's a sense of urgency here to really get it popping because there's a little bit of stuck energy that some of you might be feeling and when you feel stuck it's because you need to reach out and ask for help so you know, don't be stubborn, um, be the lion, be courageous, and move forward. Have a beautiful week. Congratulations to all of us in the collective. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please press subscribe and like and comment if you desire. Many blessings to you and your union.